Hi guys, let's continue circular tracks here. So uh, next the concept I can ex ex extend to four people also, right? So let's just just do an example on four people. So let's say uh, speed of A to speed of B to speed of C to speed of D is in the ratio three is to five is to seven is to eleven. Okay, so at how many? distinct points on the track they will meet when right when first part a b c and d are running are running in the same direction right so let's solve this first part when a b c d are running in the same direction what to do here so if a b c d are running in the same direction what will do in that case the speed ratio is 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to 11 and since they are running in the same direction so a and b will meet at 3 5 minus 3 two distinct points b and c will meet at 7 minus 5 again two distinct points and 7 and 11 will meet at uh, four distinct points right if they're moving in the same direction, right? So what is the answer? Answer is HCF of 2, 2 and 4. That is 2 points. So they'll meet at 2 distinct points on the track. And with, I told you, whenever answer is 2, that means one point is starting point always and other is diametrically opposite, right? So obviously, it is given that all the 4 people are starting at the same point. Okay, this is this would be given the question, right? All are starting from the same point. So they'll meet at 2 distinct points, right? Now let's change it a bit. I can do second also. Let's say second is A and B are moving in a poly direction. P is moving same as C and D is moving opposite of D. Correct. C is moving moving opposite of D. What is the answer in this case? So got the question right. The question is on a circular track, A, B, C, D are starting from same point. The A and B are running in a poly direction. B and C are running in same direction and C and D are running in opposite direction, right? So at how many points on the track they will meet? Again, same thing. The ratio here is 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to 11, right? A and B at opposite direction. So 3 plus 5, 8 distinct points. B and C in same direction. 5 minus 7, 2 distinct points. And D and C in opposite direction. Again, 7 plus 8, 11 plus 7, 18 distinct points. So if I take, so what is the common distinct point? HCF of 8, 2 and 18. That is equal to, so again 2 is the answer. Right, so I hope it is clear to all now. Okay, so we can do for 2 persons, 3 persons, 4 persons, right? Whatever you wish now. You got the concept clear, right? Okay. Now let's see a different variety in this. A different variety could be, let's say, on a circular track, time taken by A to finish the uh, for to finish one round is 15 minutes time taken by b to finish one round is six minutes and time taken by c to finish one round is five minutes right there's a circular track of length l circular track of length l and it says time taken to finish time taken to finish one round okay finish one round by a b and c okay so, at how many distinct points on the track they will meet when? First is A, B and C are moving like this. That means A and B in the same direction, B and C in the opposite direction, right? So, okay. So, what is the concept behind this? The concept behind is because they all are covering, there is a circular track of length L here and all are starting from the same point. Okay. And they are covering one round in 15 minutes, 16, 6 minutes and 5 minutes. Right. So, what is that? Distance is constant. So, for all of them, distance is constant. So, if distance is constant, a speed is inversely proportional to time. Okay. So, if distance is constant, then a speed is inversely proportional to 
time, right? So what is their time taken ratio? So their time taken ratio is 15 is to 6 is to 5. So their speed ratio will be what? 1 by 15 is to 1 by 6 is to 1 by 5. Multiply by 30 to eliminate diffraction. LCM of 6, 5 and 15 is 30. Multiply by 30 to eliminate diffraction. That becomes what? A speed ratio is 2 is to 5 is to 6. Right. That basically means that a speed ratio of A, B and C is 2 is to 5 is to 6. So speed ratio of A, B and C is 2 is to 5 is to 6. So if both, if all three are running in the same direction, okay, at how many points they will meet? Uh, sorry, not the same direction. A and B are in same direction, B is an opposite. So A and B are in same direction. So they will meet at 5 minus 2, 3 points. B and C are in opposite direction. Then they will meet at 5 plus 6, 11 points. What is HCF of 3 and 11? So HCF of 3 and 11 is 1. So answer is, they will meet at only 1 point and that 1 point should be what? That 1 point should be from? Should be that starting point. Okay, there is a concept behind it, right? I hope it is clear. Okay. Correct. So I can just change the question also. Means I let's say I say that okay, the second part could be if A, B, and C are moving like this. That means A and B are opposite, and C is B and C in same direction. Right. So what will happen now? So again, their speed ratio is what? Two is to five is to six. Right. So speed ratio is two is to five is to six. So A and B will meet at. They are running in opposite direction. They'll meet at seven points. And B and C in same direction, they'll meet at one point. So what is SC of 7 and 1? Answer is 1. So answer is again 1. Okay. So I hope all these such concepts are clear now. Right. Of distinct points. Okay. So let's do it for distinct timing also. Right? Sorry. Uh, yeah. Distinct timing. Right. How many points or after how many time they will meet. Okay. Let's do, let's do that variety also. Okay. Now. Okay. So let's uh, write a question here. So we'll make a circular track. Let's say the length of track is, uh, let's say 900 meters. Okay. A, B and C, three people are running. Okay. Speeds, their speeds are, a speed of A is, let's say 20 meter per second. A speed of B is, let's say 40 meter per second. Okay. Or rather light like this. Okay. So A, B and C are running. A speed of A is 20 meter per second, a speed of B is 40 meter per second and a speed of C is 50 meter per second. Okay, so question is, after how much time from start, obviously from start, okay, after how much time they will meet on the track so they will meet means all three right so after how much time they will meet on the track okay when so all three will meet on the track right when first question right so when a b and c are running in the same direction when a b and c are running in the same direction right so after how much time they will meet so let's solve this here let's see the solution so what is happening, happening here now? So what we'll do here is, we see that, okay, A and B are running in the same direction, right? So after how much time A and B will meet? So since A and B are running in the same, the same direction, so they'll meet after how much time? Distance upon speed. Time is distance upon speed, right? So what is time? So again, dist uh, dist what is distance here? So I told you, when both are running in the same direction, when B takes, uh, when uh, who whoever is faster, in this case B is faster, B takes one complete round uh, B uh, covers one complete round more than A, then B will be catching A from behind, right? So B is always faster than A, that means B is always moving ahead of A. So B will catch A from behind, okay? That means when B has taken a complete lead of one round, one round means 900 meter. So distance of 900 meter to be covered at the relative speed. So A and B are moving, moving in same direction. So what is their relative speed? 40 minus 20. So 40 minus 20, that is equal to 
so 900 by 20 that is equal to 45 seconds that means a and b are meeting at meeting after every 45 seconds on the track okay get the funda right a and b are meeting after every 45 seconds on the track then move for b and c if i check for b and c so again same thing between b and c c is the faster one so c will always catch b from behind so whenever uh, c will catch b from behind that means c will meet b c has covered again one complete round more than b so c has taken a lead of one complete round that means lead of 900 meters more than b so again for b and c distance is 900 meters okay what is speed 50 minus 40 relative speed that is equal to 90 seconds that means it basically means that a and b are meeting in every a and b are meeting at every 45 seconds and b and c are meeting at every 90 seconds so what we'll take we'll take the lcm of we'll take the lcm of 45 and 90 right that is equal to 90 seconds in this case so this is the answer right see so so easily we can solve for three people also right if you have the basics clear if the concept is clear right so most important part is basics if you have the basics clear lcm of 45 90 is 90 so simply is the answer nothing else you have to do right so simply means that i have to find the common point of all a b c meeting together so a and b are meeting every 45 seconds b and c are meeting the meeting in every 90 seconds so b is common in both the parts so they'll meet where after 90 seconds every 90 seconds they will meet on the circular track it's clear, right? Okay. You know, I can change it, right? So, once you have the concept now, there's no issue now. You can change the question now. Let's say that A and B are moving in same direction and B and C are moving in opposite direction. So, what will happen now? So, we'll solve simply again. So, when A and B are moving in same direction, again, distance of 900 meter divided by 20. What is the answer? 45 seconds. We got the same as this part, right? Here, when B and C are moving in opposite direction now. So, right, the distance remains same. Both have to cover a combined distance of 900 meter. So, both have to cover combined distance of 900 meter. In how much time? So, time is distance by speed. In this case, both are moving. So, relative speed of B and C is what? Opposite means added. Simply add the speed. What is the speed, what is the speed here? B and C, 40 plus 50, 90. So, 40 plus 50, 90. That is 10 seconds. So that basically means that A and B are moving, are meeting after every 45 seconds and B and C are meeting after every 10 seconds. So when they will meet combiningly at the LCM of 45 and 10, right? That is equal to again 90 seconds. So again, after 90 seconds, A, B and C will meet on the track. Right. I hope it is clear, right? I hope it is clear to everyone. Huh? Now, let we can do one more question, right? Let's say A and B are doing a moving in a boy direction. So, let me rub this part here. So, I hope all, all, all of you are getting this, right? This is very important what we're discussing. You should know LCM, you should know HCF, right? Numbers are very important, okay? Numbers are very important topic. We're discussing time and distance right now, okay? But number is really important topic, numbers. In numbers, I'll tell you, numbers is, many people will say really about numbers, right? At maximum three to four questions in CAT, right? But if you relate the numbers question, no, uh, remember in, I think in 2016 uh, CAT in slot two, roughly 10 to 11 questions were there from numbers chapter, having the concept of numbers, right? So numbers is very, very important, right? Have a good grasp of numbers. If numbers is good, your whole of quant would be good, right? So have a good grasp of numbers. And for that, I have made around 50 videos on numbers here. How much more you want? 50 videos means 25 hours of content of numbers is there, right? In any any coaching issue, they won't teach more than 8 hours, right? So in Rodha, you have 25 hours of numbers. Absolutely numbers unleashed. So watch numbers full videos, every, every video, and have a good grasp of numbers, right? That's very, very important, okay? Now, let's say third one. Third one I make like, when A and B are moving in same direction and B and C are also moving in, well, if B and C are moving in this same direction. So A, sorry, A and B are opposite and B and C are same. So after how much time they will meet, right? This is the question here. So again, same thing we will do. A and B in opposite direction. So distance of 900 meter by, now both are opposite, just add the relative speed. What is the relative speed here? Add their speeds, 40 plus, uh, 20 plus 40, 60. 
so 900 by 60 meter per second what is the answer here answer is 15 second that means a and b if they are running in opposite, opposite direction will meet after every 15 second on the track right now for b and c again the both are running in the same direction so again faster one will take a lead of 900 meter so distance is 900 meter if speed is how much 50 minus 40 because both are running in the same direction right this is how much 900 by 10 is it 90 seconds okay yeah 90 seconds okay so that basically means what a and b will meet after every 15 seconds and b and c will meet after every 90 seconds so what is the answer in this case again 90 seconds right again 90 seconds it's clear lcm of that is lcm of 15 and 90 one case uh, where we won't have answer 90 is actually if I change this question a bit. Okay. So if I make it this fourth question here and if I change it, hmm, let's say I did, I do like this now. So question will be like this, sir. This fourth question, A, B and let's say C is in opposite direction. This will change a little bit the question, right? So in this, in this case, uh, A and B opposite. So again, same thing, 15. B and C also opposite, right? That basically means that 900 by 50 plus 40 now. So what is this that now in that case it is 10 seconds. Okay, this fourth question, this fourth question. Okay, third one, third one answer is 90. Fine. This is fourth question. Okay. So in this case, what is the answer? So A and B are meeting in every 15 second when they're running in both directions. B and C are meeting in every 10 second. Right. What is what is the LCM of 15 and 10? So LCM of 15 and 10 would be 30. So 30 seconds is the answer in this case. Right? I hope it is clear now. Absolutely clear. Okay. Yeah. Means uh, you can obviously, many doubt will come to your mind that can you change the order? Yes, you can change the order. There's no issue in changing the order, right? Means you want to solve like this thing is basically same as this, right? Is this mathematics, right? So changing order will not change the answer if you're mathematically correct, right? So see here, if I, I can also write like this. This basically means that A and C are in the same direction. I can do like this. And B is in opposite. Fine, I can do. Right. So A and C in the same direction. Length, 900 meter. What is speed? A and C difference because running in the same direction. 20 minus 50 would be 30. So in this case, answer is 30. So if A and C are running in the same direction, they'll meet in every 30 seconds. B and C in opposite. Again, 900. And just add the speed of 900. Uh, B and C 40 plus 50 90 What is that 10 seconds LCM of 10 and 30 so LCM of 10 and 30 is Equal to 30 same answer. It will get you will get right. So you won't change the answer. It won't change the answer. Okay. It won't change the answer if the If you change the order, right? So this doubt doubt should not be there at all Okay so I hope all this concept is clear. Okay, so this this will cover a lot of part of your circular tracks. We can do this, discuss this in clocks here. Same concept a uh, few uh, on this concept actually clock, uh, clocks, right? And we'll discuss few questions of circular tracks. Okay, of different varieties we'll discuss. Okay, so that part that few questions on circular tracks we'll discuss in the next video. Okay, thank you for watching.